just before and just after the record are really tough. Because yeah. you worry about what it's going to sound like before you go in. And then you worry about, is it good when you're done? And that's the point of the sophomore album that I thought was the most frightening, is that you don't know how it's going to play. You might have done something incredibly stupid. Yeah, I can play. <laughs> All those people out there, they're like, yeah, you did. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> but, you know, even you might think it was horrendous. I mean, I don't think my own. You know what I mean? So to get over it and feel like I could give myself like a good grade on it, that's, that's all you need. Russia with Standing Fair's Whip Rock and Second Album, Whip Smart, debuted at number 27 on Billboard's album chart. While Fair's talent for clever songwriting and arrangement are evident, her video directing skills are still a work in progress. Yeah, I'm responsible for the retarded <laughs> like, <laughs> visual display it can be good of humor. Or bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can be really good or bad. I mean, I get a lot of help, but like Supernova is my Scooby Doo thing. I mean, I start out with an idea, and I expect it to turn out completely differently. I expected it to be spooky. I actually expected that to be like scary. And when you get it back, <laughs> you know, it's like going through romper room, like <laughs> boo. You know, we did the Ouija. Casey didn't want to do it. Casey's like, no man. Bad. Dangerous. Oh. Bad karma. No. Bad no. karma. <laughs> Bad mojo, man. Bad <laughs> mojo. <laughs> plans on sharpening your skills by directing the rest of the videos off of Whip Smart, an album of songs that aren't as sexually brazen as its predecessor, Exile in Guyville, but then again, not that timid. If I can't say, f I can't sing my song, because it just throws me, I'm too nervous, it throws me off, it's ridiculous, that's the song. In that sense, that's what they have people up there with a button for, you know. Which, they'll be using that today. Eh, eh, eh. on 120 Minutes is the only chance you'll get to see her perform. After playing live in public for the very first time last year, Fair has absolutely no desire to do it again. It's the force of the audience. You just, I'm too hypersensitive to it. I'm too afraid of, like, critical view, you know? I don't have that love in me, you know? People think I do, but I don't have that. I have fear.